guys, welcome to today's video. My name's Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Wow, what a top knot. Anyway, that is huge. Um, <laughs> thank you for stopping in. My name's Kat. As always, it's good to see you. Today, I've just got a mini quick review on some more Sunbun products, kind of like more of a what's the diff situation here. Um, before we hop in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. All right. Let's just go. I have talked about this product tons and tons and tons on my channel before because I absolutely love it and I use it all the time. So I was at the lake for two weeks and someone had forgot to bring sunscreen for their three children plus themselves. It just so happens that I had an abundance of sun bomb sunscreen. While I was there, I wanted to make sure I had a ton more for the rest of the summer. So I purchased three, well, a few more, at least three different kinds of sunscreen while we're up there. I have the SPF of 50. I talked about this one lots before. I love the consistency. It works really well. It smells really well. This is absolutely brand new. These are a little bit more pricey. They are a premium sunscreen, but I feel that they are way worth it. They don't have that typical sunscreen smell. They smell like bananas. Um, so this is the SPF of 50. This is new to me and I have not used this before. I have used mineral sunscreens in the past. Um, but this is the mineral sunscreen and they recommend this for babies. This was, I think $12. And then I got this, and this is kind of a newer product to the sun bum program. And it is a face, um, sunscreen. So we're going to just test the difference. I still have swatches on my arm. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Anyway, also on a side note, my husband bought this surfer paste and I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it and the reasons why I love it. So anyway, Let's just go through this really quick. This is gonna be another one of those really quick reviews just because I think those are what you guys like. Something quick so you can move on to another one of my videos because you're subscribed. We all know this, right? So anyway, this is the SPF of 50. It goes on clear. We'll put it on my arm right here so you can see a difference. So it starts off white, but it will dry down clear. It doesn't leave a weird cast on your skin at all. I love the smell of it. It, it makes you feel nourished. It does not kind of dry out. It does not flake. It does not paste. It does not get kind of like that crusty kind of powdery chalky situation. So I um, super, super love that product. So now the mineral sunscreen. So there's two different, oh, there's two different um, formulas going on here. This is a natural based sunscreen. This is more of a sun block um, in the sense where the sun is the sun's physical rays are blocked from your skin. When I explain this, this I would consider more of a sun screen where the the product screens the sun rays before it hits your skin, so it is not um, it won't burn your skin, it won't damage your skin. But there is a difference. This screens your skin, whereas a mineral base will block the actual sun rays. So with a mineral based sunscreen, there will be a white cast. So I have just put this on. This is new. I think my husband did use this at the lake. I can smell it or maybe golfing, but there will be a white cast. It will not, it will not rub in as much, just a little bit of a white cast. This is actually one of the better mineral type sunscreens that I've seen because it doesn't leave like you ghosted. It just leaves a little bit of a white cast. What I'm interested to try is this face one. I'm not going to put it on my face, but I will put it on my decollete today just because I already have makeup on. It feels slightly more oily and less thick than the actual sunscreen. And I kind of like that for like my face. I, it doesn't have any added oils or anything in that. Um, it is branded for your face. So I, it's just a little bit lighter of a feeling than the regular sunscreen. Like it doesn't have that heavy, super heaviness that a sunscreen has. It's just a little bit lighter feeling than the actual sunscreen. So that is the difference between those three. I want to just quickly, quickly chat about this surf paste. My husband recently has been growing his hair longer and kind of has that surfer kind of beach bum look, which I really, really appreciate. This is more of a paste. I and mean, then he uses this for his hair. He just takes a little bit like that, works it into his fingers. And it's, it's not a wax, it's not a gel, it's somewhere in between, but it's light and it's fluffy and it's airy. And honestly, it gives them this total surfer look. But that I just wanted to give you guys a little quick kind of what's the diff on the three different sunscreens. Like I said, this is just their original, their fantastic formula that they've always had. It is like a body sunscreen. It's a little bit thicker, it's creamy, it smells good. It definitely, definitely works. The mineral-based sunscreen is a little bit thicker than 
this one it's kind of more we'll say a little tiny more pasty it still is very rubbable you will see a white cast um not that much though because that impresses me a lot um this is the more natural version natural way to go the face sun bum feels a little bit lighter than the sunscreen itself so it's tailored for your face and i always use a sunscreen on my face so this will be my new next sunscreen to try on my face i cannot wait and i love the smell of it that's it for today's video, you guys. I just wanted to give you a little quick mini review and the what's the diff. Don't forget to check out more of my videos. I will link some down below, something I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. All my upcoming stuff is going to be really fun, I promise. And we'll see you guys in my next video.